Hello everybody, this is the Gaming Trumpster and today I have a pretty nice tutorial for you guys. This is going to be a tutorial on how to make Tungle work for your uh, any game basically. So World at War, 7 Days to Die, I do have 7 Days to Die, but as you can see I do have Alpha 2. That's a different thing. I might as well just delete that. And yeah, so... I do have some days to die and World of War, which I will be showing you guys um, how you make it work. So, guys, the first thing you're gonna be doing is you're gonna. This is for a Talk Talk router, guys. I don't know. You could watch a different tutorial on how to set it up for Netgear and other things, but I'm pretty sure most of the people in the UK uses Talk Talk, and I didn't really see any good videos on how to set up it, set it up with Talk Talk. So I already have this set up. All you will have to do is type in your router's IP, which would be located on here. So you go to Start Menu CMD. .exe, and then IP Config, and then you go up until you see this one you see where it says default gateway 192.168.1.1 that's your router's default IP every router has a different IP um, so yeah as you can see that's the IP and then that's when that's done that's alright you just copy that in there and you press enter and it will bring you to this login screen so when you're at this login screen, the newer routers of TalkTalk Talk will be called Huawei or however you pronounce it. Mine is a HG533 and the username for this is admin and admin. If you don't know, if this does not work, then you might have to call your um, thing that provides you your internet service provider. So your ISP. Um, so just click login when you typed in admin and admin. So click advanced and this will just give you a wee warning just click ok and now you're gonna go to uh, basic is it? no it's advanced you're gonna go to NAT and then you're gonna go up here it says port mapping and as you can see I already have Tungle set up here so it's basically Tungle name I mean the name would be Tungle so let me do this again new I mean you don't need to click new so the protocol has to be UDP and then just don't put anything for remote host and then the external start port will be 11155 external end port will be 11155 as well and then for the internal port host you will have to go back to your uh, CMD and then type in IP config again and as you can see it says IPv4 address now you're gonna have to copy that so mark copy that it might change sometimes when you like restart your router or your I mean your laptop um, so you're gonna get that and you're gonna copy that into the internal host that's mine there and internal port 11155 as well mapping name tungle you're just gonna click submit for that and there you go that should be done now so now if I go into tungle tungle beta now if I launch that there will be a wee face uh, down here. There will be a wee face down here when I log into Tungle. Um, here we go. Uh, this is done. Logging in. Uh, I just wait till this logs in. Oh, I just hate these stupid ads. Like, they're terrible. Um, as you can see, it has a green happy face. For you, if it's not perfect, it might be a yellow or maybe even a, a, a red one. Um, so the yellow one means that um, you don't have it port forwarded. But it still might work if you want to join games, but you cannot host games. So, yeah. As you can see, that's all my stuff. Now, to make it work, this is what you're going to do. You're going to type in Call of Duty, for example. Make sure it does have a green face if you're hosting it. If you're not, I don't think that matters. Um, cause I am gonna, I'm, I'm usually hosting games, especially in World of War, to play with my friend. Um, so now it's switching networks. So as you can see, here's all the people. If you cannot see any of these people, there might be a wrong with your NAT, there's something wrong with your NAT type. So that might be another reason why you want to port forward it. So as you can see, there is nobody hosting games right now, but to join a game, uh, let me just start up World of War, so... Computer 
Let me just start it for the desk now. And this this is a bit loud because it's starting off the disc. I should have started it off the main computer thing, but I like it this way because I like the music when it comes on and all, you know. So, oh, that's too late, guys. I'll just launch it through here. It's more easier. So just launch your Will of War, and when you have that called, you do Will of War. Blah blah blah. Um, just start up now. Um, so here we are, guys. We're in the game now. What you're gonna do is go to cooperative, go to host LAN, and then you're gonna wait for people to join. Now, if you want to do this with a uh, custom map, which I already have here, you just go to your mods. I'm going to use it for UFSO. You're going to click launch. Now, it will quit out of it and go back into the game. As you can see, it's going back. Um, when this is done, you're going to do the same thing, but this time you are going to. If this actually loads up for once here. Come on. There we go. Now you're gonna go back to host land, but this time you're gonna go to game setup, game mode settings. No, 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 no. You're gonna go to game mode and then Nazi zombies. As you can see, there is a mod. It's loaded now. So let me just do that again. Okay. Now as you can see, there's the mod title, whatever. It's UFSO. So if I could get people in here, which is which I can't right now, but I guarantee you guys it works. If it doesn't, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you fix it. So just, as you can see, there is Kino the Toten, which is pretty good I, I won't be able to join this because I don't have that map but yeah as you can see it does work and it will work guys if it doesn't I told you already just make sure you do it in the comments below and tell me so now let me show you this for seven days to die guys um, all you do here is you click I mean you go into the game and you do the same thing but this time you don't click host LAN you Come on. So this time you log in. This time you go and create a new game. And when you have your new game, I'll just explain it because uh, it takes too long to start a new game. So you create a new game and you give that person your virtual IP. So for instance, let's say I'm uh, my friend's hosting the game, or I am, right? And you join the Seven Days to Die group. So if I type in seven days to die, and there it is, the first one. There's 90 people at 255, and yes, I do want to leave it. So when you're in here, what you're gonna do is you'll see a virtual IP down here. So when this loads up for me, there's the virtual IP. So what you're gonna do is, for example, if I would have my friend, let's say my friend will be this guy called Keenan 1998. Um, you just uh, right click and you copy IP to clipboard and then if you would be hosting something you would go into the multiplayer game and then favorites and then you just type in the IP and you join the game simple as that so guys if you're having any problems with this make sure you let me know and um, thank you guys for watching uh, if this helped you make sure you give it a like and subscribe for more tutorials and also gameplays of different games. So thank you guys for watching. Peace.